and welcome to Sports Center. Mina Smith, Shay Cornette here with you. And one of the big questions for week two in the NFL, who's going to start under center for the Pittsburgh Steelers? You're going to hear from Mike Tomlin today in less than 60 seconds. And staying in the NFL, if you have Christian McCaffrey on your fantasy team, Jeff Saturday still hanging out with us as we bring in our NFL reporter, Dan Graziano. And Jeff, I want to start with you. And let's start with your former teammate, Aaron Rodgers. Given that Rodgers faced his first significant game action in over 600 days, what concerned you as he started to just kind of gel with that Jets offense? Well, I mean, I think he, he, he looked a little bit rusty, which you would, you know, fully Looking expect. like they're trying to figure things out on offense. Meanwhile, Dan, the Niners didn't seem to miss a beat offensively. Jordan Mason in place of Christian McCaffrey. He rushed for 147 yards and a touchdown. Ooh. What's the plan for McCaffrey as he deals with that calf and Achilles injuries? They really showed no signs of a Super Bowl hangover. Didn't have Christian McCaffrey out there. Limited production from Brandon Ayuk and then also Debo Samuel. What message did the Niners send in Monday Night Football with that win? Oh, they're physical and they're well coached. That's I mean, all you too. need from Brock Purdy is for him to go out there and do his job. Thanks so much, guys, for that insight. Against Nebraska. Ooh. And they do it. Yeah, big losses. Yeah, but and they so got a rivalry game coming up on Saturday. So, so you know it's going to be good. Juice is flowing. It's flowing. A little chip on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. You got to love it. Love the storyline. Our college football analyst Greg McElroy joins us now. Colorado came out flat in week two against Nebraska with Deion Sanders pointing out concern with that offensive line. However, good news, still 10 games left in the season. Greg, what are you seeing for this Colorado team for the rest of the regular season? Well, I think they're going to be okay. Progress in the games to come. Yeah, you mentioned Shadur Sanders. He was sacked five times in that matchup against Nebraska. Colorado looking for their QB to bounce back. However, who are three other QBs that you'll have your eyes on going into week three? Well, you, you said it best right there. I mean, this is a bounce, big opportunity for him to bounce back as well. Yeah, Brock and Kentucky, they definitely have their work cut out for them. Kentucky has lost 14 straight times to Georgia. Greg, thanks so much for that insight. Day, or for Sunday, I should say. Saturday, Sunday. It's all very confusing. <laughs> Three guys who you think will decide who wins and loses on Sunday in the NFL or on Thursday, in this case, with the Dolphins and the Bills. What do you think, Jeff? Yeah, we'll start uh, with Thursday. We'll go, we'll go with Tyreek Hill. Let me tell you, Jeff, Saturday, I am for one shocked that you think it's going to come down to some pressure with the offensive line. But nonetheless, <laughs> Lions allowed the second lowest pressure rate of any team in week one against the Rams. The Rams really only pressured golf six times on 31 dropbacks. They were very good, so this will be a good matchup yes. on Sunday. But we say thank you now to Jeff Saturday. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. Appreciate it. I knew it. I knew how, Shay was coming after how that. How happy were you with the win, though? You got a win. To start a win the is a win. A win is a, a win. As you said, a very Chicago win. Very Chicago. But it was a win. <laughs> and we'll take it. <laughs> Eye on some key injury updates to that. We welcome in our NFL insider, Dan Graziano. Like I mentioned, week one in the books. Week two is nearly here with some key injuries to keep an eye on. Let's start with the Hollywood Brown. Dan, how is his shoulder doing and how, is he clo or how close is he to getting back on the field? news. Meanwhile, Deshaun Watson and the Browns have more concerning issues. Now that Watson has been accused yeah. of sexual assault in a new civil lawsuit filed in Houston on Monday, what could the latest suit potentially mean for Deshaun Watson and his future in Cleveland? Question about This marks the 25th civil suit against Watson dating back to when he was a member of the Texans. 23 of those cases have been settled. Dan, thanks so much. Guess that you took CMC, maybe with your number one overall pick. Clint. Sure did, Shay. Yeah, Not mad about it, though. That's all right. Yeah. There's always solutions to these problems. Of course, Field Yates is here for fantasy on the field, as we are going to do every single week, help get your fantasy team right. And so just how much did McCaffrey's injury affect fantasy managers this week? It totally nuked any sort of Hail Marys on Monday night this past week. They allowed Matthew Stafford to throw for 317 yards. If you have Jordan Love... This would be a good solution to your problem, at least for the next couple of weeks. Or if maybe you need to have a quarterback on the bench just in case for oh, a little yeah. bit of insurance or maybe a bye week, this would be a good option here in Baker Mayfield. And speaking of someone maybe going on the bench for a little bit, oh, our poor field Yates. Nervous. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's the normal human feelings. But I also if someone wants to make fun of me for not being the fastest guy at ESPN, fire away. You know what? I don't care for the next <laughs> month and a half. He doesn't care for the next month and a half. And then after that, game on. You know I mean, what I mean? You're like Christian McCaffrey yeah, coming back. Watch out. Speed. Write this down. This time next year, I'm going to be jacked. Okay, well, this time next year is a long way away. <laughs> in the meantime, everyone, if you need to learn more things about fantasy football and your fantasy football teams, you can watch Field on the Fantasy Focus live every weekday at 10 a.m. Eastern on the ESPN app. Field, as always, thanks, buddy. Thank you. Three sneaky storylines entering week two, and let's start in the AFC East. Bills, Dolphins, what you got there? 
Yeah, I think it's the receivers in Buffalo oh. this game from start to finish. Yeah, well, if the Cowboys do take care of business, they'll be in good shape ahead of their week three matchup against the Ravens. Dominic, thanks so much for that insight. No problem. Thank you. Long way from the right hand is definitely a good thing. I'll tell you what, it didn't look good yeah. when he fell on that hand. So for him to say he feels good, he'll find just a glove, no big deal. That is some great news. Yeah, if you're a Bills fan, that's what you want to hear. I'm still stuck on the yogurt on the spoon, Brees Hall. <laughs> Shay was losing her she mind. Yogurt <laughs> after about one hour. It's gross. After an hour? Nasty smell. You shouldn't even have it out after an hour. NBA Today is coming up next.